Welcome to Tuesday's Devotions. We are continuing looking at these I Am sayings of Jesus. We were thinking yesterday of those two sayings before Abraham was I Am, in which Jesus saying that he is the eternal God. We're thinking also of how when he was about to be arrested and he says, I'm who you're looking for, and they say, Jesus of Nazareth, and he says, I am. And they fall back and fall to the ground. I am was revealing something of his glory, going back to the burning bush, where God said his name is I am who I am, Yahweh, the eternal, the all-sovereign God who's in control of everything. So Jesus is saying that he is this God. Now there are seven other I am sayings in John's Gospel. And just to quickly remind you of them, I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the door. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I am the vine. So we're going to think about these over these next couple of weeks. And so thinking uh, today about I am the bread of life. And we find that we saying in John chapter 6 and verse 35, which says this, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Now, the background to Jesus saying this is the day before he fed that great crowd of 5,000 men plus women and children. Jesus went over the Sea of Galilee that evening, and the crowd were left behind. And the next morning, they realised Jesus is there. They go searching for him. They come round, and they find him on the other side of the Sea of Galilee. And Jesus knows they're seeking him because they want another feed. They want another miracle so that they would get this bread. And Jesus challenges them about that they should be seeking for food that doesn't perish. They are looking for more bread, food that will perish. They are looking should find food that will endure for eternal life. And they basically ask, well, what work do we have to do for this? And Jesus says, basically, you have to believe in him. And, and they ask him, well, give us a sign so that we can believe you. Moses gave us the sign of the manna. That was the bread that came down from heaven. And Jesus, well, actually, it wasn't Moses. It was God, my father, who gave you that sign. And basically, God has given you me. And that's when he says that I am the bread of life. Uh, look at that wee verse again. It says, I am the bread of life. That's food. Bread is the most common food that would have been used in those days and probably still today. So he is the bread. He is the food that gives life. And he's talking here about eternal life, a life that will endure forever. He says, whoever comes to me shall not hunger and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. He's saying that he is the one who will truly satisfy. He is the one who truly will give purpose to people in life. People are so discontent. Even people who are very rich can be very, very discontent. Joy, fulfillment, purpose in life is only to be found in Jesus. He is the only one who can satisfy. The wee hymn talks about having tried the broken cisterns, trying to drink from water that's from a, a cistern that's leaking and, and just flowing out. In many ways, people trying to get happy, it's like trying to take water with a sieve from a, a river or a well or something, and it just flows out. Never have enough, never satisfied. And the reason is that we were made to be satisfied in knowing Christ, in worshipping God, in having a relationship with him. And Jesus is through faith, it's coming to trust in him that we enter into this relationship. It's trusting in him that we get this eternal life. It's trusting in him that we have this bread that feeds our souls. And so, if you are a Christian, you need to feed on Jesus continually. We think of the, the Lord's Supper, we take the bread as a sign of how the Christian life is lived by feeding on Jesus. We need to continually feed on Jesus. We can't live this life in our own strength. We can't do it for one moment. We have to feed in Jesus. We have to feed in him by reading his word so that more and more of the reality and the power of Jesus would live in us. It's in the word that we find the bread of life. It's in the word that Jesus comes to us. And so, what do you need today? 
you need the bread of life. You've taken your physical food, have the spiritual food. And Jesus, think of him. He is the eternal God. He is the I am. I am the bread of life. He is the one who can supply us more than we can ever imagine for whatever we're going to face. And he is the one who can bring us to eternal glory. I am the bread of life. Come, trust in this Jesus. Amen.